She used to get when you first started, though. Oh yeah. I would literally get dits and diarrhea. Everybody joking around with each other, but each of us wants to be the one. Uh, if opportunity favors the prepared mind, I am the prepared mind. Jacob is the youngest of the group. He's the newest, so uh, I, I'm expecting the least from him. Look, you're shocked. Thanks, you too. <laughs> When I was little, I really wanted to be a magician. I did this one trick where I got my dad to disappear emotionally from the rest of my childhood. <laughs> You're great, and you have a career ahead of you, young man, and it's very exciting. I realized recently how long I've been single because I just asked for a glass of water at a restaurant, and the lady behind the counter was handing it to me, and there was this moment where our fingers touched, and I realized how long I've been single because it was way too big of a moment. <laughs> But I have this problem, I lose things all the time, like my keys or glasses. That happened to me a few weeks ago, I actually lost my job, and I don't know if it's going to turn up again, but... Yeah, he's bringing it. His writing, I think, is, is really good. My goal at that job was to work the least amount where I wouldn't get fired, which I don't, I don't know what that amount is, but now I know what the amount right below that is. My name's Jacob, thank you. Thanks, Jacob. His material could have been much stronger. I liked it. Let's see more, see what else we have, and then make a yeah, decision. Yeah, because we yeah. can't put all six through. Right now. <laughs> oh, I love being an American. I read there's a billion people in this world who each live on one dollar a day. Why can't one of them be my girlfriend? How about you, Christopher, walking where you've been all morning? You know, I got up at maybe six, maybe seven, went hunting for fresh, ripe, juicy blueberries. Sean! And the curtain's right there, and in a few minutes, I'm going to be on the other side of it. So it's nothing but the judges. A little shaky right now. It's great to be here in Vegas, but I went to a psychic. Uh, most people think that's a scam, but I got my money's worth out of it because I asked the psychic if she saw me going to jail in the future, and she said no, so I robbed her. <laughs> Thank you, guys. If we do put him through, he, he's got a, he's got a lot to overcome. Quick, can you quick, quick, quick. Thank you. Thank you. My audition in New York went better than I had hoped. I would sneak over to my neighbor's house late at night and I would bounce up and down on their trampoline. That was their daughter's name, Arlene. I am a big fan of yours. You're excellent. Well, thank you for being on the stage. It's pressure packed. When I woke up this morning, I could feel tension mounting. Tension's my dog. <laughs> it's awkward. I just found out my ex-girlfriend needs a kidney transplant and I'm not really worried because her body hasn't rejected an organ in 25 years. Two weeks after she dumped me, I was fortunate enough to see her get hit by a snowplow. And that was awkward for me, because I had never driven a snowplow before. <laughs> People ask me all the time if I still miss her, and I do, because I haven't had the scope on my rifle adjusted, but I'll get her. She said I was always invading her privacy. She didn't actually say it, but she wrote it in her diary all the time. Thank you for listening. I appreciate it. Tom got the reaction, he got the laughs per minute that I think he wanted. He's, I think he's going to be happy with that. I mean, this experience for a comedian has got to be horrible. And all the other comedians are back there watching him. What is that like? The next comedian out has a, a, quite a yeah. hill to climb. Yeah, I wouldn't want to follow him. Hi, go get him. So when we uh, saw you last, Howie and Sharon were your big fans, and I was not. We're going to take it to the movie Star Wars. These are the auditions you didn't get to see. Jack Nicholson's audition for Darth Vader. Luke, I got some bad news. As it turns out, I'm your father. I found myself forcing a smile on the later material. Okay. You know, you're an impressionist. And uh, I'm not doing any impressions today, though, Howard. Why? They didn't really seem to work with you. And uh, Howie gave me the advice to write. My advice to write was to write for your impressions. I totally missed the boat on that, man. Well, you know, tonight's the night. Change my mind. Right now? Go for it, Frank. Well, being on this show's got me rattled. I've been drinking so much, it's taken a toll on my health. Much like the owl, my liver is spotted and endangered. You know what? 
Um, can I start over? Would it be possible? All right, sorry about that. Much like the owl, my liver is spotted and endangered. Sorry, guys. Frank, you took an interesting gamble there. You threw out your comfort zone, you threw out the impressions. What happened there? I've never been so nervous on stage, and I've been doing it for years, and I shouldn't be that nervous, but I am. If you were me, what would you say to you? I would say, uh, you want to give me a chance? You know, I'm just trying to scratch the surface of comedy. Okay, thanks, Frank. Thank you, guys. Nick, not good. Uh, didn't, didn't do what you thought? No, man. As soon as I said, can I start over, I wanted to, like, either shoot myself or jump into a hole. Start again, you don't do that, and then you do that kind of jump. Can, can we bring Frank back out, please? Yeah. I think they, they want you, the judges want to talk to you again. Hey, Frank. Frank, you really blundered here. This was your big break. You had two judges that loved you, you do impressions, and you changed everything. And then you came out here, and you got lost in your act, and that's suicide. I'm sorry to say that we have to send you home immediately. I'm sorry. I know they're going to be sending people home now because I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. It's horrible to see that. This is a fierce competition. We're, we're talking real show business here. Don't blow it like that. Just give it your all. This is such a great opportunity. You can see what's at stake. It can happen like that.